The acolyte actor Manny Jacinto, who plays Chimere, a.k.a. the Sith character in the show, has indicated the show is basically doing a mid-season reboot and that it's going to be a completely different show moving forward. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com earlier this week. And this is what Manny Jacinto had to say. But let's give you some context here. Because I assume most of you haven't watched this show. It's absolutely terrible. Do not recommend it. Here is kind of the brief recap here. In the show's fifth episode, the Sith is unmasked by Daphne Keen's Jackie. And it's revealed to be Jacinto's Chimere. After killing all of the Jedi except Master Soul, who did defeat him, albeit he refused to execute him, Chimere is carried up into the air by a swarm of Umbra Moss after Osha attached her droid to his back. These uh, creatures are attracted to light, so they came down out of the forest and like lifted him up. Uh, and it looks like he was literally being carried up by a string because his like legs are kicking, and it just it was it looked terrible. From there, Osha and May confront each other. With May eventually overpowering Osha, May then cuts her hair off with a lightsaber and pretends to be Ocean, returns to the ship with Soul. Meanwhile, Chimere eventually defeats the Umber Moss and comes upon Osha's body. After covering her with his coat, he says this, What extraordinary beings we are. Even in the revelation of our triumph, we see the depth of our despair. So who even knows what that means? But Jacinto was asked about that line. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, and this is what he said. I think it's essentially our introduction into the third act. It's basically summing up everything that you thought you knew in these first episodes. And then here is the key part here where it looks like he's talking about rebooting the show. In the first season of the sixth episode, <laughs> rebooting the show already. This is absolutely wild. <laughs> says now we're going into completely different territory. Now it's a different world that we're going to introduce you to and not just a new story. So it literally is a new story, not just a new story, but new motivations for all of the different characters who even knows what any of the motivations for any of these characters are, except for May. The only motivation we had with May was that she wanted to kill these Jedi because Chimer had told her to do it. And she hated them because she saw them as, taking her sister and destroying the lesbian space, which is that she saw as her family. Like that's the only person who had any motivations. And then soul, I guess had motivations to like track her down or whatever, but who knows why he wanted to actually do that. Maybe try and talk to her, get her to come back to the Jedi or I don't know, not really come back, but like bring her into the Jedi. Maybe discover who the Sith is, who trained her, I guess. But we have no idea who, what Chimere's motivations were. No real idea on what Osha's motivations were, except that she wanted to like confront her sister. Uh, who knows why, whether it was on basically because her sister tried to kill her, confront her on that. It's not thoroughly explained. Because she was going to go off and do her own thing. And then Soul comes and talks to her and is like, you need to come and, and do this. And then all these other things happen. And then May, her motivations completely changed. She was all about killing the Jedi. And then she wasn't about killing the Jedi. And then she was about killing the Jedi. And now she's taking Osha's place to infiltrate the Jedi. Who knows why? So <laughs> it's basically a whole, whole new show. <laughs> They're rebooting the show. On the sixth of the of eight episodes. <laughs> like that's how bad this show is. And it wasn't just Manny Jacinto who said this. Amanda Stenberg, who plays May and Osha, said it too. This is what she said. The power dynamics and structure that we've seen so far have now kind of been invested, which sets up both of the characters to go on a completely different journey. completely different journey. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Everything that they both have believed to be true has been challenged in some way. And so now the question is, what do they do with that information? Who knows? 
who care who really cares right the show is is absolutely terrible even leslie hedlin commented on this as well in the same interview she said this one of the most iconic relationships in star wars is the father-son dynamic where the father is redeemed at the end of return of the jedi our story is the father-daughter dynamic with Soul and Osha, and that's a very different dynamic than father-son. So you're going to see us explore that and get into that relationship even more deeply than the first half of the season, which focus more on sister-sister. I'm assuming that it's just going to be like uh, not actual fathers because they said there was no father for the twins, and it's going to be like Chimir is going to act as like this father figure to osha and soul will be acting like this father figure to may and i'm not really sure maybe that's the accurate way to describe this because i would still assume there's going to be some kind of master padawan relationship rather than father daughter i think that's maybe 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 there is a father maybe that's the real big twist there is actual father who knows junis suotomo Su suotamo he plays the Wookiee Jedi, Kalnaka. He's also played Chewbacca in all the movies. But he also shared some details about what the next three episodes are going to be like. Obviously, I would expect him to return. I, despite his character being killed, we'll probably see him in another flashback episode or in flashbacks throughout these three episodes. But this is what he said. It's going to be interesting if we get to look at the past. The Jedi are these powerful people, but what do they do when faced with difficult choices? The whole series reflects that and is asking that question. So I think it's going to be interesting if we get to see what happened to these Jedi before the events of the show. Obviously, talking about what they did on Brendak is what I think he's saying, because that does take place in the show, but it's obviously just a flashback in the show. Lee Jung Jae, who plays Master Soul, the best actor on the show. He also provided some comments and he says that hinting that the show will return to Brendock where the lesbian space witches were killed after May attempted to kill her sister. It's like the like the one thing that the show hasn't told us, like who killed the space witches? Did they all just die of like smoke inhalation or whatever? We just see their bodies like lying on the ground. And there's like an implication that the Jedi did it. But then we know that the Sith guy kind of knows what souls done. So maybe he was there and he actually killed them. Who knows? But we'll, I mean, we're, I'm sure it will be revealed. And then Osha was saved by Soul and the Jedi while May fell down a shaft, but somehow did not die like Darth Maul. But this is what he said. I believe that all throughout those years, Soul was filled with a mixture of emotions, including remorse and deep regret, and also a very strong determination to never let something like that repeat itself. The question that he has struggled with was how much sacrifice is needed in order to protect peace. So again, kind of dovetailing off of what Suotomo had to say there. So that is the latest update on the Acolyte. They're basically doing a end of season reboot within the show. Like, you can't make this stuff up, though. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, but let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, but to always speak the truth.